So how does it feel to be famous? All right, good talk. So here's my dog who looks a little upset with the bright lights and stuff. And then there's Kiara. She looks like she's having a really hard time coping with these bright lights. Just kidding, she doesn't care. So today we're doing a little different video. And by different, I mean I'm actually going to have someone else in this video that is not me. That's right, I actually have a friend. I've noticed that I have to include cheese in my videos to get people to like me. Whenever I don't post a video with cheese, all I get is please include cheese, more cheese. Where is cheese? We need cheese. much I can do with cheese, so I decided I needed to step it up. I needed to go to a new level. I needed wheelchair fish. So, wheelchair fish has kind of taken over the world. If you don't know who wheelchair fish is, you must not watch the news, you must not have social media, and you just must not be relevant. Because let's be honest, what's the most important thing to be informed about on the internet and on the news? That's right, disabled fish. So this video, I'm not only going to be discussing wheelchair fish, but I am going to wheelchair fish's home. My friend's home in which wheelchair fish lives. Let's, let me go ahead and explain to you what wheelchair fish is in case you just don't know. Actually, instead of me telling you, let's just let every other news article in the world tell you who wheelchair goldfish is. Personally, this is my favorite story of the day so far. The best thing you'll see, I think. A guy made a wheelchair of sorts, kind of, for this goldfish who has a floating disorder. Floating disorder. So it's called swim bladder disorder or something. Uh -huh. uh, and I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I rolled my eyes too when I saw this, but it really, really is cool. So 19-year-old Taylor Dean, she s shared the story about a goldfish that has this disorder that keeps it from controlling its buoyancy in the water. So basically the little guy, he's just stuck at the bottom of the tank. He mm. can't he can't float. Okay. He can, you know, do his fins, yeah, but he yeah. can't float. So Dean's friend, Derek, works at an aquarium shop. This is all in San Antonio, and he fixed the little guy right up mm -hmm. with his one-of-a-kind goldfish wheelchair. Yeah, and, and, and he kind of probably whittled down that piece of styrofoam till it was uh, just the right amount of buoyancy Well, he said that the there fish. was kind of a lot of physics involved well, in this. Yeah. Because basically, okay, what's the weight of the fish? What is the buoyancy of this? Uh -huh. That's far too complicated for me. And then the little styrofoam keeps him afloat, so he can paddle around. Yeah. <laughs> just fine. I know. And, and it's a buoyancy of bladder disorder. It's called a, a bladder disorder, but bladder basically disorder. they can't oh. keep An themselves. SBD. He has yes. an SBD. Yes. Uh -huh. she, he's literally everywhere. And I'm very, very, very thankful to be the person responsible for tweeting out a screenshot of the actual person responsible for wheelchair goldfish. So today was the day that I finally got to go to my friend's house and film the sensation himself wheelchair fish. So let's go ahead and cut to the footage where I where I go to his place and film his sensational disabled goldfish. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl. How you doing? Hey guys, so today I'm going over to my friend's house to film the famous wheelchair fish. Um, I am wearing a quality outfit today. Don't tell me you don't understand it. There's nothing to understand. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get ready and we're gonna go and we're gonna film wheelchair fish. I don't know why I'm using my arms so much today. I'm just, I'm feeling it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So how does it feel to be famous? Alright, good talk. Also people were very concerned when I filmed this last time because they were like, is the fish drowning when he's not in the water? I was like, goldfish can actually stay pretty lo a long time. It's on the opposite side as I used to have it and it's so much harder for me to do it on this side. Come on out. Okay. And then he goes in. See there? Yeah, which I mean, it always sucks. He, since he's still, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't, you know, built his fins up a lot, yeah. and so he doesn't necessarily like. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. he kind of gets going, but a lot of times he's just kind of chilling. That's fine. It's still a lot funner than being like upside, upside down. down. Yeah. So. He's not in the mood. <laughs> he's like, listen, it's been a rough day. All this fame is getting to me. It's like. Yeah, I think the longer and longer he's with it, the more he's gonna get his fins built back oh, yeah. up. But I think he's, he hadn't really been swimming for five months or something, yeah. so he kind of—I think his fins got kind of atrophied. I keep hoping that he's gonna be able to come around, you know, and maybe not need it. But I just—I don't think that's gonna 
that's nah. it. Wheelchair goldfish rehabilitated, able to swim again after five months of physical therapy. <laughs> I don't know what, it's just funny. I don't know, looking at him is just funny. <laughs> I don't know if he's insulted that I'm like laughing at his disabilities, but I'm laughing in a cute way. Your disabilities are cute. Oh yeah, there we go. That's oh, <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I hope when I'm disabled and in a wheelchair, someone will help me. I have a lot of people that are emailing me now saying, my fish has this problem, send me a wheelchair. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, are you sure it does? Because, like, I mean, I'm sure some of them actually do, but some I'm, actually do, yeah. some might be the correctable yeah. thing. I think it's the best. First off here, you know, we're looking for all of our supplies here. You know, mm -hmm. we got some airline tubing. Mm -hmm. and we got our teas, which pretty much all these items, you know, you should be able to find at any aquarium store. Yeah. So we're gonna need at least two of the teas, right. airline tubing. This material here is actually a fine mesh bag that's used for holding media. Yeah. Obviously, the finer the mesh, the softer it is. The one that I was able to locate for his is an extremely, Thin, yeah. extremely soft. Yeah, yeah, you can see like soft. this one. Oh yeah. You can see that one. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if you like can't find that, soft, even yeah. something like a net, uh -huh. you know, or something will work. So, yeah, so you know, we need to cut an original piece that's going to actually be the part that he's going to sit into. Uh -huh. So we need to cut, you know, a small piece. Obviously, you know, you need to measure your goldfish. Mm -hmm. I found that this part is usually about double what he is and so my guy was about an inch across mm -hmm. and so this thing here you know is about two inches so you know you see your airline tube and you cut that you know then we're gonna you pop both of your connectors on here to kind of make the the base mm -hmm. <clears throat> then once you get this lined up you get your piece of material here you should all just kind of try to set it over the top get it you know fairly close there then you get a marker or something poke these through like a small screwdriver or something you know you're gonna poke those through eventually you know it's gonna turn into this design here and then we put our first ones on we're also gonna need our tubing for this so I cut out some very small little tubes here that actually kind of are our holders so and usually once I have that one on I'll line this one up and do the same thing you know marker yeah. it Poke it, mm -hmm. then it goes on, same thing. Maybe have to trim it a little bit. Okay. Same thing here, you may have to trim a little bit of your area here, but don't trim too much. This is gonna be our piece that's gonna go over the top. Mm -hmm. And so what we wanna do on this one, because this is gonna be also holding this, and so the same thing, you know, we just wanna put a little mark on one side. There. All right, now pretty much the basis of our chair is all set up. Same thing, we might want to do a little bit of you know, trimming. We're going to put this other piece on here. Front. All right, so next part. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm the one with the sweater on. Dude, I know. I've been on sweat so bad. And obviously this design is for a ranchu or a goldfish that doesn't have a fin on the top. Mm -hmm. If your goldfish has a fin on the top, you probably need to make one that's, mm -hmm. you know, has smaller, hole, larger, yeah. and it has a hole that's actually going to have his top fin, mm -hmm. and then you'll have to go a lot longer on the top to give him yeah. room for the top fin. This would be another design mm -hmm. if your goldfish has a top fin. So securing and holding him up and down, I guess, so we have some, you know, Velcro pieces, you know, here mm -hmm. that we've cut already into our little pieces. This is going to be the piece that's going to hold our weight. This here is just a standard plant weight that, you know, they sell fish stores for weighting down live plants. Mm -hmm. Very easy to find. And even our little weight holder. It's good to make sure when you do it that the end of it is on this side because you don't want it to poke him. Yeah. And you want to go very low, you know, it's not super low, but low enough that he's not going to really touch it because his fins are going to stick out this back area here, mm -hmm. this bottom fin. There. That's gonna be the bottom of his chair that's gonna... 
hold him yeah. down. Obviously, it's gonna wrap like this, and so you know, one side needs to be here, the other side needs to be here. I like to use this side here because I feel like it's a little thinner. Mm -hmm. So I'll stick that okay. just like that. Put that on here. Put this bad boy just like that. Okay. All right. Pretty much have the basis for most of our chairs. Wraps around, you know, and does it here and. Yeah. Holds him up. Now we just think the last part, which is going to be the part that holds him up. Yeah. So for that, what we do is we have the same thing. These other little. You could probably use other things, you know, like you even maybe even glue it or something. But I found this to be just you know easy to make sure it doesn't hurt him. Yeah. I do it kind of wide to make sure we give our our string plenty of room to kind of move around. Mm -hmm. Now we just got to get our little styrofoam. piece of styrofoam, which you may even make a little bit larger. You know, you may have to remove some to get it to weigh just right. Yeah. This can obviously be, you know, a tie just like I used with the other one, mm -hmm. but I found that string seems to do a little better. Mm -hmm. Tie it up. A little trim. Trim. And that's pretty much what composes pretty much what composes the goldfish built here. Zoom in on it. Hold on. We gotta zoom in on the device. Okay. Wait. Oh no. Wait. Okay. We're good. We're good. Cool. It wasn't one of the sticks. <laughs> you can retail it for thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it. <laughs> Hey, that's not that's not nice. I'm not looking to die. Okay, that's not nice. How you doing, Mister or Mrs. Sorry, sorry I called you a boy. Didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry if it offended you. How are you doing today? Oh, okay. I actually got a really good shot right here. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to clean it or not. But I got I got a good idea. I got the swifter on this yeah. thing here. I didn't lock that. Um, I don't. It looks locked. Okay. The things you want to try before you do the goldfish wheelchair is one is going to be diet because there's a lot of the bladder issues you can fix actually with the diet will help to push some of the stuff out of their system that could be causing that. 
The other part would be treating it like it could be a bacterial infection. So this is, uh, you know, some of the products you'll see out there. This is one of them, you know, for treating like a bacterial or um, even could be a fungal infection, like but usually bacterial and something like that. So that, that's a product. You'll see a lot of products that treat bacterial fish infections. Also, just um, freshwater aquarium salt. It's not like saltwater salt. It's a little bit different, but also found at most of your fish stores. Just good old uh, salt, uh, freshwater aquarium salt and having a little bit of that in there can go a long way with helping that. And another part is the diet. So some of the main things I've seen is fruit and veggies. So the two main fruits you see is oranges, another one's bananas. Just chop them both up in very small amounts, you know, and so it's small enough for your goldfish to eat. That would be the fruit side. The other side is of veggies. So with romaine and broccoli, you just want to boil this stuff in water for a little bit and get it very, very loose and very easy. I mean, these will almost start to fall off the the things here, which are very easy for them to consume, they can even eat it directly off the little tree. So it's uh, two really good things to do. The other last part you'll hear a lot of people talk about is peas. Now you have to get the pea types that are in a pod. And all you want to do is just, you know, pull these out of the pod, open the pods up, and you'll see that there's a bunch of the little small peas in here. So you just want to take all these little peas out individually, you know, these little guys here, and you're going to put them in water and you're going to microwave them. So you microwave them for about a minute or so, you know, get you quite a few of them, and once they're microwave, they'll be very moist, then you can pull them out of the shell, and then you just put them down there and let them eat those, and that's pretty much the main things that you can try before you try the goldfish wheelchair. So that's pretty much all the footage that we got today. Of course, I plan on going back to my friend's house, so in the future, if there's any videos y'all want to see about the goldfish, let a girl know, okay? Because I got the hookup. I know everyone is wishing they knew wheelchair goldfish, but... I do. My birthday is next week and then I am going to California for four, five days, four days? I don't know math. So I get to do a video on teaching you guys where the heck all my animals go when I'm not here. And I, I literally have no plan for my animals yet. Like, I'm just praying that my mom can do it and my friend. You best believe I am giving them the thickest book ever on how to take care of all my animals because if one, if one of them even has a scratch on them when I come back there will be there will be a lot of crying from me I hope y'all guys enjoyed here's cheese just so y'all can still see cheese because I know you can't you can't not have cheese in a video cheese cheese come wow cheese excuse me is anyone home Hello. I see that you're home. You have glass windows. I can see in there. I know you're in there. Cheese. Cheese. Come. Cheese. Cheese. You were waiting for me to leave just so you could eat. Cheese. He was literally right here just staring until I brought the camera around. Cheese. High five. Hello. No. Not you. You're, you're venomous. Get away from me. High five. High five. Don't you dare, don't you think about that. Don't you dare. Cheese, give me a high five. Give me that high five, Cheese. Hit me up with that high five. Hit me. Hit me, hit me. Hit me. Who are you? You're not the one I want. No, ow! If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it. Because it really, it helps a girl out, okay? And if you haven't liked this video yet, go ahead and do it. Also, check out my other videos because I have other videos that also have cheese in it. Has, it has animals that make you want to subscribe. Thank you guys, bye. Oh my god, he's not running on his wheel. Oh my god. Is he sleeping?